Hey there, viewers! Bug bites are fairly common and can sting quite a bit. Something that makes them even more annoying are the little allergic reactions they bring. These can be anything from pain and itching to swelling. There are plenty of over-the-counter treatments that can get rid of bug bites, but if you don't have those products and you can't get to the pharmacy, there's no need to worry. Home remedies are equally effective in treating them, and in today's video, we'll tell you the best ones. From baking soda, peppermint essential oils, raw honey, cold tea bags to basil and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Baking Soda to treat both the itch and promote healing, mix baking soda with water and put that on your bite. You don't have to worry about exact measurements of water in baking soda, just start with about a teaspoon of baking soda and add some water. Create a paste that you can apply to your skin. Baking soda is a base, so it helps counteract the acidity of the reaction between your body and the bug's saliva. It helps the body neutralize the reaction and keep it from spreading and irritating. Baking soda can also be used as a home remedy for chicken pox or eczema, which causes dry, itchy, inflamed patches of skin. Often, products or treatments marketed for eczema will also help with the bites. This is because they address the same symptoms of skin inflammation and irritation. What's your favorite way to use the versatile baking soda? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Number 2. A Cold Compress the most basic home remedy for bug bites is an ice pack or any cold compress. A bag of frozen peas works well, too. When a bug bites, it injects its saliva in your bloodstream. That saliva triggers your immune system to send histamines to the bite. This causes an inflammatory response, that red, swollen, itchy bump. There's no complicated science to this cold treatment. Ice numbs the area of your bite, which helps reduce the itchiness and soothes your skin. Applying the compress for about 5 to 10 minutes should be enough to relieve the discomfort, at least temporarily. Ice can also help decrease the inflammation and swelling as your body responds to the foreign substance injected by the bug, but it won't help the bite heal any faster, though. Number 3. Alcohol Rubbing alcohol works really well in reducing itching and that histamine response. You can carry individually wrapped alcohol wipes when you're at a place where there's a lot of bugs. Rubbing alcohol denatures the proteins in the bug's saliva. This means it clears away the thing that your immune system would normally react to with itching and swelling. Rubbing alcohol also has a soothing and cooling effect. Number 4. Peppermint Essential Oil this delectable essential oil doubles as a bug bite soother and prevention spray. You can use it whenever you think you might be exposed to bugs or in areas of your home where you think there might be an infestation. Place a few drops where you see critters coming in and it will stop them in their tracks. When you're out and about, apply the oil topically on any exposed skin. You can use with a carrier oil such as coconut or sweet almond or just good old moisturizer. Number 5. Echinacea Tincture this homemade medicinal remedy has been a staple in people's medicine cabinets for centuries, and for good reason. Echinacea is a liquid extract from the echinacea plant, which is part of the daisy family. It's been used for everything from treating colds and soothing sore throats to stopping infections in their tracks. If you notice that the area around your bite is becoming red, hard, and swollen, apply echinacea tincture to the affected area every hour until the swelling is gone. Apply liberally by patting it onto your skin with your fingertips, using at least 1 4 teaspoons per application. If the swelling does not decrease significantly after 24 hours of consistent use of this remedy, or if you start to run a fever at any time, call your doctor immediately. Interested yet? Make sure you join our millions of followers and hit that subscribe button for all our great bestie content. Number 6. Plantain Leaves Even though it shares the same name with the starchy fruit similar to a banana, the plantain that can help with bug bites is an entirely different plant. It's a common weed that grows well in packed soil. That means it's often easy to find at playgrounds, hiking trails, and even growing along the sidewalk in cities. You can recognize plantain species by the vertical veins that run along the leaves, which are organized like a circle of rays emanating from a central point. This plant has impressive wound healing abilities, which is why it's an ingredient in many healing salves and ointments. Pick a few clean leaves of plantain and either mash them with your fingers or chew them a little bit so they're soft before applying to the affected area. Number 7. Aloe Vera Aloe has been used medicinally for thousands of years as far back as early Egypt. These days, it is a fairly common and easy to care for houseplant. The gel inside the thick, stocky leaves is used to treat many skin conditions, and aloe can help relieve bug bites. For starters, slathering aloe onto a bite will likely bring you immediate relief because it has a slight cooling effect on the skin. Moreover, aloe vera has been shown to be effective at reducing erythema. This is the redness that accompanies skin irritation from a bug bite. A study found that after six days of applying aloe vera twice a day, it was as effective at relieving erythema as other medical creams. Number 8. Oatmeal 
One remedy for an uncomfortable bug bite may also be one of your favorite breakfasts. Oatmeal can relieve itching and swelling because it contains special compounds that have anti-irritant qualities. Make an oatmeal paste by mixing equal amounts of oatmeal and water in a bowl until you have a spackle-like substance. Spoon some paste onto a washcloth and hold it paste side down on the irritated skin for about 10 minutes. Then wipe the area clean. If you have many bites, try an oatmeal bath instead. Sprinkle one cup of oatmeal or ground oats into a bathtub full of warm water. Soak in the oatmeal bath for 20 minutes, occasionally rubbing some of the clumped oatmeal onto irritated areas of your skin. Number 9. Raw Honey this method, while a bit sticky, has a number of benefits. Honey, like many of the other home remedies, has anti-inflammatory properties that will help treat your bug bite. According to a study, honey removes dead tissue and foreign debris. Basically, the honey pulls fluid from the tissue around the wound, which also helps wash the wound and flush out any irritants. If your bug bite opens up, like you've been scratching it a lot, consider putting a dab of honey on it, just like you would any type of ointment. You may want to cover it up with a band-aid to avoid getting honey on anything else. Apart from soothing bug bites, raw honey has other goodness for your body as well. Learn more about its benefits by watching, benefits of applying honey under the eyes and other tips. Now back to natural bug bite remedies that work. Number 10. Calamine Lotion the bubblegum-colored lotion made of zinc oxide is your first line of defense for mildly itchy bug bites. The lotion creates a cooling sensation that temporarily relieves itching and discomfort. That means once the lotion wears off, usually after a couple of hours, it'll probably start to itch again. You can use it on its own or combine it with other treatments like antihistamines. Apply a thin layer over the affected area and reapply as needed. It is available as an over-the-counter medication at most drugstores. Number 11. Cold Tea Bag a tea bag soaked in cold water will reduce blood flow to the surface of your skin to take down swelling and ease itchiness. Depending on the variety, tea may also contain compounds called tannins, which helps reduce swelling. Try using black tea since it contains the most tannins. Dunk a tea bag in very cold water until the bag is fully soaked through. Gently squeeze the tea bag to remove excess liquid and apply to the affected area for 10 to 15 minutes. Repeat as needed. Number 12. Basil. The fragrant basil plant is a key ingredient of many of your favorite Italian recipes, but it does double duty as a bug bite remedy. Studies suggest that a chemical compound called eugenol, which is found in basil, could relieve itchy skin. To make a basil rub, boil two cups of water and add half an ounce of dried basil leaves. Leave the mixture to steep until it's cool. Then dip a washcloth into the liquid and rub it gently on your mosquito bites. Alternatively, you can chop some fresh basil leaves up until very fine and rub them onto your skin. Number 13. Tea Tree Oil Tea tree oil, which comes from the leaves of Australia's shrub-like tree, has been used medicinally for decades, many as an antiseptic and anti-inflammatory medicine. It's now also found in some over-the-counter anti-itch treatments. You can buy the essential oil at the local health food store. A study found that tea tree oil may be a natural antihistamine, which can help reduce itch from mosquito bites. To use tea tree oil on a mosquito bite, you'll want to mix a little bit with any other common type of oil, like olive or vegetable oil, to dilute it. Then you can just dab it on the bite. Natural remedies are good not just for treating bug bites, but for other things as well. Learn more about what we're talking about by watching 10 Tips to Naturally Regrow Your Hair or 9 Natural Ways to Balance Your Hormones. So go ahead and watch one or both of these videos for maximum benefits. What bug's bite was the most painful for you? Let us know in the comment section below.